people like us. You are listening to People Like Us. Makarabo, do you have a moment? You need to be out by 6 p.m., Carol. I, sh- I just want to talk. I became a sex worker out of necessity at first. You're young. What kinds of expenses do you have? I have a child. He's just three years old. That's why I came to the city, to provide for him. I want him to attend school someday so he can have an education. That's a lot of pressure. A friend of mine told me what she was earning doing sex work and it just made sense. And you haven't been able to stop? I choose not to stop. It's my profession. I can't be with my son to raise him, but I want to do everything I can to provide for his future. That's all I wanted to say. Sex work is my job. It doesn't tell you anything about the kind of person that I am. I don't want to be responsible for your son not having food on his plate. You can have two more weeks. In the name of our Father, Amen. I wasn't expecting to see you here, Uyap. That's because you made an assumption about me based on my sexuality. Perhaps. I believe that God loves all his children. But we must condemn sin. Whoa, I am not sin, and neither is your son. We are just people, all equal in God's eyes. You grew up in a Christian household? My parents raised me with strong values. And you're still a Christian even though you're gay. (laughs) A person can be more than just one thing. Accepting my sexuality was one of the most difficult things I ever had to do. I doubted God. If this is a sin, why did God make me this way? Did you find any answers? My family helped me to understand that each one of us is made exactly as God intended. Mm, You seem to be a child of God. We all are. Taps missed the last few years of his mother's life and really regrets it. That's why he's back. He wants to spend as much time with his father before it's too late. Things going well at school, Jacob? We're having problems with the teacher. The one who has decided to become a woman? Miss Caris! Good afternoon, Tabo. Come, Tabo. Time to get back home. I thought I saw this piece of rubbish come in here. Patrick, get out. I tried to speak to my dad, miss. Thank you, Tabo. I appreciate it. Better watch out. Your son is a retard. He's an easy target. You don't know what you're talking about, Patrick. My gender has nothing to do with my sexuality. Mark my words, Jacob. He has his eye on that crippled kid of yours. Stop saying that. Tabo isn't crippled or retarded. He's intelligent and compassionate. He's capable of more than you could ever imagine. Don't you dare. Get out, Patrick. I won't have that kind of talk on my property. Out. I thought Patrick was about to hit you. It takes guts standing up to him. People jump to conclusions because they don't take the time to get to know you. Yeah, because sometimes we need to let go of our own judgment and just listen to other people. Am I seeing things? Are you cooking, Mom? I'm just chopping. Gogo is cooking. There's no small task in cooking. You can't have beef stew without vegetables. Guess what? I got the highest mark in class for our test. That's wonderful, Leander. All the students are jealous because my ma is a nurse. Did your mother take the test for you? No, you are doing well because you work hard. No, Ma, what are you doing? It's for the stew. <laughs> you don't put cornstarch in the stew. We're not making gravy. No, I wanted to thicken it. <laughs> don't laugh at me. I'm not making fun of you, Ma. And I know it's from experience. I once put so much cornstarch in the stew, it became so thick, you could slice it with a knife. <laughs> go, go. wasn't very happy. <laughs> you ruined an otherwise perfect stew. Bring the vegetables, say, Monica. In they go. See, that wasn't hard, was it? I cut and peeled vegetables, Mama. That's all. A baby has to crawl before she can walk. Carol? Is that you? It's the middle of the night. I'm I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to wake you. What happened? Let me have a look. It was a client. He was drunk and he got violent. Sit. Here, under the light. Oh, look at that bruise. Does it hurt? A a little. Have you been to the police? I can't. You have to. I'm a sex worker, ma. We don't have any rights under the law. So you just have to deal with these things on your own? It's one of the risks of the job. And if something even worse happens? What am I supposed to do? We're not protected and the men know it too. I'll call Nurse Monica so she can have a look at you. That's not necessary. Of course it is. If you can't go to the police, who can you turn to? People like us. For more stories like these and to share yours, visit unheardvoices.africa.